Can we beat Chimps mode on a brand new account? And what I mean by that is almost all of my towers have zero XP. They have not been unlocked. So before doing this, I actually went ahead and unlocked Monkey Meadow on Chimps mode. I beat the game modes that need to be beaten before we get to Chimps. So standard ABR and impoppable. And what's happening now is I want to jump into Chimps mode with my towers having zero XP. Now some of my towers do have a little bit of XP, which is the towers that I used to get here. So the towers that I used to beat hard mode, ABR and impoppable mode. But in order to make this challenge as legitimate as possible we are not going to be touching these guys so the wizard the alchemist and basically everything that i've used let's say even if i placed it once we're not going to be using that tower everything that has zero xp we're only going to be using those towers that have zero unlocked upgrades and before starting this let me just show you guys even my heroes i do not have any heroes so we're not going to be cheesing this with any specific hero actually because i don't have anything unlocked it's just the usual ones that you guys know and i actually don't even have a single skin and we're going to be using quincy because i feel like Quincy is, you know, if you want to make this thing as scuffed as possible, I think you go for Quincy. So that's what we're doing today. So let's jump into chimp mode and see if we can beat this. So for those of you that don't know how the XP system works in BTE6, it goes like this. Each round gives a set amount of experience and that ex experience is being distributed between your towers. Now, the more money you've spent on a tower, the more experience that that tower is going to be soaking. So for example, let's say a round gives 100 experience. And let's say the towers that we placed are a ninja, let's say for, well, let's round the numbers up. So let's say the ninja is $600 and then we have a druid for $400. If the round gets 400 XP, then that means that 60 of the XP is going to go to the ninja and then 40 of it is going to go to the druid. Now this creates a problem because the more money that you spend on a tower, the more experience is going to soak. So you want to be very careful with how you're upgrading and what you're buying basically and essentially where you're spending all the money. So I'm actually kind of thinking about the ace and I feel like the ace is a very good tower because I'm actually going to place the ace and I've been kind of thinking about it because well this tower has a bunch of cheap-ish upgrades and we can kind of control the costs and it's a very cost efficient tower because the ODS for example is a fourth tier but it costs only about $3,000. So I feel like we can manage the costs a little bit better with these cheaper towers. So I was actually looking at the ninja and because I have used the... Are we fine by the way? Yeah we're fine. So because I have been using the alchemist actually to even get here to this point to uh, to unlock chimps mode, what I'm thinking is maybe we can do the bottom path. Let me just unlock these two. So let's start with the ninja discipline and the seeking shuriken, and then maybe we can maybe we can go for the bottom path ninja. I was thinking something like maybe the master the master bomber. Let me just see what's happening. Should I use the? I should probably use. Are we fine? Am I saving? No, I'm not saving the ability. Let's use the Quincy ability just to kind of. And it's time to unlock more of the ninjas. So let's get the sharpshooter against the cat traps. And I should buy them actually. Yeah, let's buy them. So the ninja currently has about $2,000 spent on it. And the ace is, well, it's just the base ace, which costs about 800, I think it was. So that means that the, the majority of experience is going towards the ninja at this point, which is the way that we like it because eventually we're going to need to unlock the, uh, the uh, master builder. Did I say the master builder? I meant the master bomber. Well, it's round 26 and I'm kind of realizing now that we don't have any lead popping power. So even though I was talking about the ODS, I feel like maybe I should go for the uh, for the middle path ace. And also, I also want to place the glue actually. So let me just place that glue and let me just unlock the middle path ace because we have lead balloon sync coming. So let me get these guys and then it's, look at that, it's a zero XP. And let's just let's just get the let's just get this guy the 130 have it on figure infinite and hopefully this is going to land a couple of yeah there we go so round 33 i think we're going to be fine the next few rounds but i'm kind of thinking about what the strategy is going to be so let's say we're going for let me just buy the flash bomb actually Fifteen thousand sticky bomb yeah we're not getting this before round 40 i was actually kind of hoping we can get this before round 40 so we can deal with the moai but i guess that's that's not happening the glue is at 286 Okay, so 286 experience and we are on round 35. So let's see how much XP is going to have when this round ends. So as soon as round 35 ends, let me just check up on the glue 286 into, oh my god, 318. Yeah, this thing is not getting XP. I need to buy something for this guy as soon as possible. So let's unlock both of these guys, the uh, glue soak and the beer globs, I guess. And let me, let me buy them immediately because this thing needs some money spent on it. So it starts getting XP at, uh, at a better rate, basically. So as long as we pop the Moab layer, I feel like the glue and the flash bomb are going to be able to keep the balloons in place. So let's see what happens. This guy is... Yeah, no, this guy made it out. Yeah, there, go, there goes the black border. I guess we don't need any more XP on the ace, so we can kind of put that tower aside. So let me... Oh, actually, I don't even have the... Uh, I don't have the distraction unlocked. So let me get the distraction, the counter espionage, and the shinobi tactics. I'm going to unlock both of these guys. So I'm going to spend some XP onto them. I'm going to get one more glue, actually. 
I'm gonna get the glue soaking beer gloves and that is that is all the money so hopefully both of these guys both of the glue gunners they're gonna hit two ceramics each but hopefully this is enough damage because if this if the moab layer pumps i'm pretty sure we can hold the ceramics in place and there we go it pumped and the distraction is going to down good and I think we have it. So the flash bomb is 15 and a half thousand. So we're into the 50s and well, let's just check how much XP the ninja has first. It's 13.6k and this is 15 and a half. So uh, maybe next round, actually I don't think it's gonna be next round. I think it's gonna be like round 53 that we're gonna finally get the XP for the sticky bomb. And then after the sticky, well, I guess that's only gonna make things worse, right? Because, well, we're gonna unlock the sticky, but we're gonna buy it, it's like $5,000, and that's gonna put the ninja even further in terms of the XP it's taking away from other towers, right? So, uh, let's just check up, let's just see what happens first, and these guys, yeah, these guys are not defending that well, so, oh, we have it, okay, so we have the XP for the sticky, 15 and a half, and the master bomber is 37 and a half thousand, that's insane. The silver lining here is that we can deal with Moab class balloons, but everything else is basically not doing well. So let me just upgrade these things. The glue is at, well, it's at 137 XP, but I feel like we have to do this thing. So I'm going to buy both of these guys to 220 actually, just so we amp up the XP gain on them. So the glue hose is two and a half thousand and we have 873. So after this round ends, let me just check how much XP these guys are getting per round. And even if we, do we even have a chance of getting it before 63? So 870 into... 1.2k so that is about 400 experience per round which means that we can definitely have at least the glue hose before round 63 which is which is amazing okay so i want to buy one more ace actually i said that i'm gonna be buying more but i feel like one is not gonna be enough for 63 i don't think the pierce on one of these guys is enough but that's about it so this is the end i'm not buying any more aces i don't want them taking any more xp that they already are especially not from the glues let me just check up on the uh 2497 out of two and a half thousand okay that's close but we're gonna have the hose on the next round the glue strike is at eight and a half thousand yeah so eight and a half isn't happening so hopefully these aces and the basically it's all in the aces and the glue so the glue should stop them and then the aces should be clearing everything up and they are they're leaking no please pop them i had to use the ability there okay let me let me just panic buy some shinobis i, I hope these guys do something one more on the where did i play this maybe on the left side are these guys helping yeah, they're helping. Yeah, the Shinobis are actually helping a lot. Oh, look at that. So basically, they give a little bit of attack speed, then it makes the flash bomb proc a lot faster. And also, they have the distraction themselves. So if they knock back like five ceramics in total, yeah, there we go. So we're at round 75, and actually two things happened. First off, we got enough XP on the ace for the ground zero. So I'm just going to unlock this. I don't plan on buying it, but I will unlock it just because why not? And we also finally got XP for the Master Bomber. So 37 and a half thousand XP, but this thing costs 43,000. Let's see, do we even have this one? I think we do actually. Yeah, there we go. And round 76. That's why I wanted to save the level, the level 10 ability, by the way. I didn't want to use it on 75 because, well, we're going to need it for 76. Because unless we use the, the level 10 ability here, that would have been like an, a, an easy reroll farm, I'm pretty sure, with these reroll ceramics. Okay, so round 79, I am... 100% sure that this is going to create a regrowth farm uh, thanks to these distraction ninjas and the glue. I would love to be proven wrong, but I feel like yeah, it's it's 100% going to happen. Maybe, like, we don't have the level 10 ability because I used it on the ceramic waves in round 78. And we are going to have to wait for that one. Actually, like, I'm saying that, but they seem to be kind of cleaning everything up. Am I right? No, it's not looking good. They're gonna leak, so we have to do something about this one. So I promised myself I wasn't gonna be buying more aces, but I feel like this is probably the cheapest solution, right? Because we can probably get a ground zero and deal with the entire round. But the thing with the ground zero is that it's twenty thousand dollars, and that twenty thousand is gonna set us back so much for the master bomber that I just don't think that we can afford it at this point. And they seem to be doing well, actually. They seem to be cleaning everything out. So it's like two and a half thousand dollar per ace, and that's a five thousand dollar investment, but. But yeah, they, they actually take it down. They clean it up. Nice. So that is. So that means that we're going to have the Master Bomber at like, what, round 81, I think, or something like that? Yeah, that's that's nice. I'm, I'm super happy with that one. Okay, round 81, it is is going to be this round. So um, these guys are kind of struggling, actually, as expected, versus these versus these uh, free play rounds. And it's only going to get worse, but we have it. We got the Master Bomber, finally. We actually started from the bottom, and we actually got to a, a fifth tier in the Master Bomber. And we have XP for the Glue Strike. That's nice. And the setup is... Well, the setup is starting to take shape, but I feel like... We 
we can fit a couple more shinobi ninjas through this master bomber i guess the oh my god the ace platform is in the way for that one so let me try and fit one over here that's 10 one over here that's gonna be this one's in range 100 yeah that's that's gonna be 11 and yeah let me let me just try and fit a couple more shinobi ninjas and i'm gonna be back in a second so I want to be getting one more tower and I think we can get away with unlocking one more tower before this thing ends. And I actually have the tower in mind. It's going to be the ice. So I'm actually looking to get, the, ideally I would want to have the 140 ice. So I'm looking at the snowstorm and I think that the 140 is going to be nice because, well, I kind of want to, I guess it's going to be nice versus DDTs. Kind of just, just slow them down for a second, but it's going to be super nice to, to have these guys in general versus the small balloons as well. So if something leaks... We can just freeze them in place and we can buy ourselves some time to to beat them but as you guys can see this is the problem that we have out oh, ddt's in the background actually and we well we deal with the ddt's but i'm not sure how good we are so um this is the problem that we have because these ice platforms they don't have any these ice towers don't have any xp onto them so basically the way to get them to to get more xp is to just buy a buy a bunch of them and spam them all across the map yeah, so I bought a bunch of ice towers and started upgrading them, but this thing is not looking good for them, guys. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure if this is even happening. So let me just let me just use the glue strike. Oh, you guys can't see it actually because I turned the FX slider down, so you can't see the animation. But I used the uh, glue strike and I used the sambo as well, and I feel like we are gonna be able to beat round 95, especially because of the glue strike helping the ninjas and Quincy actually do some damage to them in the first place. So that was that was a very nice tower in, in hindsight. And it's like I'm spending money on these upgrades and I'm buying like these these one to zero ice towers, but it's just you know what? Look at the top actually. So they are freezing some ceramics. So it's not like these guys are useless. Okay, so round 98, I'm I'm actually gonna buy Quincy's level 20. It's 500 dollars And round 98, it is time. It's three more rounds, and let's see what we can do. So I guess we can just alternate the build. I should probably buy one more sabo. So I use this one. I use the first sabo, but I'm gonna buy one more actually. Oh, we have so much XP on the ninja that we can unlock the Grand Saboteur, actually. But we're not going to do that. Well, we don't have the money to buy it anyway, so there's no point. Uh, we've got another Sabo incoming. So I'm going to use that one. And let's just see what's going to be happening. So these, look at these Ice Towers. Oh my god, <laughs> these Ice Towers are holding them. I think they're the MVPs. I wanted to get the Snowstorm, which is not happening. But these Ice Towers, they are doing a lot of work, actually. And this is the last of the Fortified Bloons, which are getting kept in place by the Ice Towers and the Flash Bomb. So that's... Nice. Okay, so two more rounds. 45 DDTs. We have the Sabo. And we have a Glue Strike. So I'm going to use both of them, actually. Let's just wait for everyone to come out. And then use the Glue Strike. And that should allow the Ninjas and Quincy to do... Oh, yeah. They're just demolishing them. Are we going to beat it? Well, I feel like we are. Because this thing is doing 1,000 damage per throw onto the Bad Balloon. So let's just wait for this guy to come into range. And, yeah, let's just dump everything onto him. The Glue Strike. Quincy's level 3 ability. A bunch of Ninjas attacking it. And this thing is going to pop. Well, it's going to pop in a second pop the DDTs and then we have a bunch of stuff so let me just use level everything let's just use Quincy's level 3 level 10 ability and there it goes 102 monkey sub that's a nice insta actually that's uh, a tier 2 insta which is the uh, best reward that you can get out of a beginner map but there it is we beat the entire thing without any xp on the towers we leveled them as we played the game but this was a super fun super fun video and i hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching